Hello my 3D printer peeps. I'm here with the Creality Ender 3 version 3 KE and today we are going to go ahead and install the official Creality LED light bar. Grab your tools and let's get started. For reasons I don't understand, unlike the Creality Ender 3 S1, which came with a direct connection on the housing for the official LED light, the SE and KE do not so do be prepared to be removing the bottom case of the printer and connecting wires to the motherboard. There are a few steps to take care of before we start working on the machine itself. So go ahead and open up your box and lay everything out on your table. Inside the box, you will find this nifty little foam insert with directions and all the components to your light bar. We're gonna lay them out like so. Go ahead and remove the LED light from the plastic bag. Do be careful. There is a light strip inside the housing. We don't want that falling out and slamming onto your workspace and breaking. To avoid doing that by accident, I'm going to pull it out a little bit and place it on my table so I can see that light. Take each bracket so that the curved side is facing down and the flat side is facing up and place them like this on your table. Your LED bar will be installing upside down and you will need one of each bracket. The correct bracket to match each piece will point inward toward the arm. To get started we will install the wiring harness to the printer's left side bracket which will connect to the LED light strip. Don't be afraid it's relatively easy. You will see there's an on off switch with a 1 and a 0 one being on, zero being off. When you flip it over, you will see the lowest one is zero, the highest one is one. You can look back at your switch to remember. Locate the corresponding connector that says O, face it so that the wire goes towards the front of the harness, and connect it to this first pin. Go ahead and do the same to the other pin. Please take note, there are metal clips underneath these rubber boots and those metal clips must physically snap over those pins. Just placing the rubber boot isn't good enough. Make sure you've physically got those metal clips firmly pressed onto the pins. You can confirm by pinching the rubber boot and pulling it up, exposing the metal clip on the metal pin. Here you will now see there is a small channel right here. We will go ahead and run this wire carefully through it. The most important part is that the wire with the white connection makes it to the end of this bracket. And it should look like this. Go ahead and route the rest of this wire inside the gap above the two rubber boots and down towards the bottom. And now it's time to install the bracket. We will start with the left side of the printer, removing these two screws. Go ahead and get your Allen keys out or whatever tool you have that fits. And remove these two screws. Place this bracket over those two holes and reinstall those same two screws. Don't over tighten them, we're simply holding some plastic. Take this wire, be sure it stays in place inside that little gap so that it's underneath the bracket and place it up against the bracket. Go ahead and gently install that screw. We will go ahead and do exactly the same on the other side minus any wiring. This one is just the bracket and the arm. Place the bracket on the KE and replace the two screws. It's only going to fit one way, so you're not going to screw this up. Gently screw it back in place. Again, no need to over tighten. We're only holding plastic. Slip the arm 
over the bracket and use that second screw that came with your printer. I will remind you again, don't over tighten. This arm is plastic. We are now looking at the front of the machine. The light bar will go like this with the white facing down and the LED strip facing the left side of the printer. If you are looking at the printer, it's your right. At this time, you can take this little white wire that we ran earlier, make sure it's up through the slot of this connector and simply plug it in to the connection on the end of this LED strip. It only fits one way. And that way is with the pins facing up and the little notch facing down. Slide it back in, turn it around, and press the LED housing onto the arm. Go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. Be very gentle. You will be flexing this arm a little bit and it can crack. If you feel like it's too tight, loosen that screw in the back, put it on and then tighten it again. In the rear left side of the printer, you will find this knockout piece. On an S1 series, there would be a connector here, but Creality did not bless us with that for this series of V3 printers. I'm using a weeding tool or a craft picker, and I'm simply gonna get it inside the little space and break off those little tabs, holding it on. You will see the piece has kindly fallen inside for me that's okay, it won't do any harm in there. You take these two little wires and stick them in there. Go ahead and turn your machine onto its side. I'm sure you are super thrilled to tilt your machine on its side, but we are going to do it. Don't turn it onto your nebula pad side. We will tilt it to the other side. If you find you are crushing your hot end harness, this is a good time to take it off from the bottom and route it along the side. Lucky us, there are a million screws to take off. We will go ahead and do that now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight screws. Work this panel off. and leave it leaning like this because this fan is attached to this motherboard port and your sprite harness is guided out the side of the machine through this little bracket. If you go this way and up over the power supply, you will find the wires we passed through. Go ahead and feed those out so that you now have enough wire to reach this connection right here. Right here, you will notice this green adapter with these small flathead screws in it. You will see a red wire and a black wire. They are both inserted into a hole with a metal pin. We are going to use a small flathead screwdriver to loosen these screws by turning them to the left to unscrew them. Doing this will raise the screw, opening up a space for us to insert the new wires. Simply take these wires and match them up. Press the red wires pin into the hole with the red wire. Once you feel it is seated nicely inside that hole, make sure the original wire behind it is seated nicely also and tighten that screw. That screw will clamp down holding both pins in place. Do the same for the black one. Slide it into the hole Make sure the original wire is in there nice and good as well and tighten the screw. Don't overdo it, just enough to clamp down and hold both these wires in place. Before we close this up, I will take this wire and just slip it underneath the screen harness. That will help keep this wire in place and avoid making contact with any other electronics, moving parts, or screws when I reassemble the bottom. 
You can see the wire nestled right here. Now would be a great time to gently pick this bottom plate back up. Make sure all the wires are routed where they belong and reinstall all 10,000 screws. With all that fun stuff out of the way, you can go ahead and stand the printer back up. With the switch on the light set to off or zero and the switch on your printer set to off, go ahead and plug it in. Go ahead and turn it on. Was there any smoke or fire? It's a good start. Now with the printer on and no signs of smoke or fire, turn the switch on the LED light bar to on. Much excite, congratulations, you have successfully installed your Creality Ender 3 version 3 KE LED light bar. You are on the 3D Rundown YouTube channel. I'm Greg Adventure, your instructor on 3drundown.com and installing the LED light bar on the Ender 3 version 3 KE was today's adventure. Hey.